Hey everybody, it's Ed the Old Tech Guy. Thanks for visiting the channel. Today, I wanted to review with you my new Milwaukee Packout 15-inch tote bags that I recently purchased with my own money and no, nobody is sponsoring me. I wanted these because I need them to keep me efficient, fast, and clean when I'm doing my professional work my side hustle work, and even my projects here at home, my DIY projects, because everybody appreciates a clean and organized workspace. Let's talk a little bit about these bags. Here, this tote is model number 48228321, and I got this on sale on eBay for $40 dollars you can't beat that if, if if the link's still available if the guy's still selling them i will put it in the description this guy right here i got i originally went to home depot purchased it for a hundred dollars but it didn't come with the measuring tape it was just the bag i came home logged on to to home depot for another item that i knew they own, i could only get over the internet but notice that this bag was selling for a cheaper price than in store with the measuring tape. I went back, returned the bag and got this guy, ordered it. It took, it took about seven to eight days to get it. I'm okay with waiting if I'm going to save money. This unit right here is model number 48228315. And it's an incredible bag. Let's review them a bit more. Okay, basement lights on. All right, and now we can see what we're doing. Okay, so this guy right here is just a giant pouch. That's all it is, a giant pouch. But I want you to really take a look in there and look at how much stuff is in there. I got both my drills. I've got my level, I've got my drill bits, I've got my charger, I've got four batteries in there. I've got everything you would need to do some basic work, except with the screws, things of that nature. But still, there's extra room in here for that. This bag also has a pouch here. Look at that. It has the same pouch on the other side. Pretty cool. Now, it also has a feature that I didn't notice right away when I was looking at this bag online and when I was looking at it at Home Depot. It has these slits here, these small belts, so that you can put stuff in between. Maybe you can put a small belt here and put your tape, your Cat5 if you're a low voltage guy, all kinds of stuff. It just makes sense. That's amazing. That's a great thought when they were putting this together. Milwaukee, hands off to you on that one. That's pretty good. Also, it comes with a nice belt so you can throw this over your shoulder. And really, that's it. That's all this bag is. It's just a nice big pouch for you to carry that stuff in. No, no real deep talk on there needed. This bag right here comes with these belts so that you can put a level, you can put a two by four, you can put whatever fits in these belts, whatever you use on a regular basis. I'm probably gonna put a level in it. This also has pouches on the side right here. And so that you get an idea of measurement, we have this screwdriver, but best of all, We've got our measuring tape. Here's what I found interesting. This bag is 15 inches, but it's actually 15 and a quarter. These pouches, they're about four inches tall. The depth in here up to this guy is eight inches. And it's the same on the other side. 
One of the complaints that I saw on the internet that many people had was that these screwdrivers would fall out, that you, you couldn't get a good handle on them. The truth of the matter is no matter what kind of bag you get, you're going to have some setup problems. You're not going to be able to figure out how your tools go in there very well. But you play with them, you get used to them, and you figure out how to set up your pouches, and you're good. Maybe you got to put them in backwards like that sometimes. Gets a little dangerous. You got to be careful. You don't poke yourself. But still, you, you, got, to, you got to figure out how you want to set up your stuff. This bag, again, comes with a nice big belt so that you can carry on your shoulder. Nice idea. This is flexible. Flexible plastic material. Hard. Very hard, though, so that you won't hurt your wrist as you're, you're carrying it. And also, in case you put something big and heavy in there, it can expand. These pouches, I'll let you take a quick good look in there, are pretty... <laughs> You got you got a great amount of pouches in there. There there's a weird setup though. Yeah, I don't know how you're gonna be able to fit everything in there, but you'll you'll figure out your configuration if you buy this bag and you'll be happy with it. The other side has this soft cushion, so if you got it on your shoulder and it's hitting your side, it this this has got like some memory foam in here or something. It's just it feels very very pleasing to the to the touch oh yeah again great innovation by milwaukee you've got a small pouch here that can fit maybe some pencils some basic stuff it's it's not very um it, it's not very big it's somewhat narrow but it's about four inches tall you also have one more pouch here and that is what I thought would be perfect for you know pencils sharpies things of that nature last but not least what we all came for both systems right this is this is what we like Right, and there you go that's how I would carry it put all my tools in here and off we go that's my review they get two big old thumbs up from me if you haven't subscribed please do so if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you're gonna buy the Milwaukee system, pack out system, put a comment in there saying, yes, I'm buying it. If you're not going to buy it and you're going to go get a Versa or you're going to get a DeWalt system or something else, put a big no in there. And if you want to expand in your comment, I'd love to read it. Everybody, this is Ed, the old tech guy, signing out.